If it's a day that I'm not working out, I love to eat comfort food. So like protein pancakes or protein waffles. I like to just eat what I love and that makes me feel really good. Hi, I'm Cambry Schroeder and I'm gonna share with you how I gear up and wind down for my workout routine. This is everything but the sweat. The first thing that I do when I wake up is set my alarm because I naturally love to sleep in and stay in bed all day. So I set my alarm, I jump out of bed, I do a quick prayer, meditation, and I head downstairs to take my dogs out. So once I'm outside, I take glowing greens and I mix it with orange juice and I put a lot of ice in there and I drink it in the morning sunlight because I have a hard time waking up with energy. So I need that little boost and it helps me so much. So I drink that and then I make breakfast. So if I'm working out that day, I'll have something higher in fruit and something sweeter so I can have more energy to burn during my workout. Maybe like a tropical smoothie or oats with berries. I also love to have a component of protein in there. If it's a day that I'm not working out, I love to eat comfort food. So like protein pancakes or protein waffles. I like to just eat what I love and that makes me feel really good. I love to wear workout gear that makes me look cute. So like I'm all about like pink and cute patterns and like things that hug my body. I like to feel like very compact and like ready to do any type of workout. So I love to feel like ready for the gym. My go-to sneakers are Asics. They're so comfortable. They're for runners, but the cushion on them is like a cloud. I don't know what they do in the socks too that they have. I love Stella McCartney's workout clothes because they're a little fashionable. So they have the cutest crop tops and I throw that on over just a black workout set and it spices it up. I feel like a little different. And for me, when I get ready to do a workout, I do my hair, I do a little no makeup makeup, like I gel my eyebrows and like put a lip stain on. And to me that makes it so much more enjoyable. And when you enjoy it, you get more out of the workout and you feel better and then you have more results. So it's the best just to get ready for your workout. The music that I love to listen to before a workout is the opposite of hype up music. I used to hype myself up so much for workouts that it would spike my cortisol and stress hormones so much that I would come back from the gym exhausted. And so now what I love to do is ground myself. So literally my dream pre-workout playlist is like church music. I get focused. I love to go to the gym with intention. I feel like I get more out of my workout. I feel my, my muscles activated. If I'm just going like frazzled and all hyped up, I'm like more chaotic there and I don't know what I'm doing. So I like to ground myself, go focused, go calm. And that's what makes me feel really good. My current workout routine looks like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, I love to do lower body and core. Wednesday, I love to do upper body and core. Friday, I love to do something that I love. So maybe a Pilates class or a hike and then on Saturdays I love to ride horses do something outside and get some contact with nature I feel like that is so good for your well-being honestly if I'm not feeling motivated to do a workout that day I don't work out I don't push myself beyond the limits that I feel comfortable with I used to and I would burn myself out all of the time and now if I don't feel like it I'm like maybe I need to rest today and sometimes the best thing you can give your body is rest and that's the thing is you just need to figure out what motivates you and then stick to that there's not one way that works for everyone you have to understand what you love and then run with it my philosophy on rest days is that they're almost more important than the workout themselves. I love to take full advantage of my rest days, some things that I love to do on rest days, sauna, ice bath, Norma Tech, not all of this in one day, but like each week kind of choose something to try. Foam roll, if you guys can get a foam roller and roll out your body, it's like a free massage. It's amazing. And I love to sleep. Sleeping is one of the best things you can give your body. It's regenerative. It helps strengthen maybe some of the muscles that were broken down and just rebuild your body so it can be stronger and healthier. Post-workout, I love to have something with high protein 15 minutes before I finish the workout. If you wait too long, your appetite increases so much. If you feel like the ravenous feeling after a workout, the best thing you can do for that is time your snack post-workout. So 15 minutes, I have a little protein shake, fit with Cambry protein powder, with water or oats, a little banana, cinnamon, like make it taste good. Drink that right away. And then an hour or so later, I'll have healthy lasagna, healthy tacos. You can have all of your favorite foods in the healthiest way and enjoy them and still get your results that you're looking for. So once I've had my post-workout snacks, my favorite outfit to put on to unwind is baggy sweatpants, baggy hoodie. The older, the better, the more rundown, the better. And 
and then I love to do beauty and skincare and fun things like that. So I'll put on a face mask, I'll do like a face roller, and then I'll take deep bloat pills, which have probiotics, digestive enzymes, and magnesium all in one, and that will help with muscle recovery, sleeping, digestion, releasing water retention. Sometimes post-workout, you can hold on to water, so that helps me flush that out, and then I just, I'm ready for the night. Sleep is so important for wellness, but what I realized is I was sleeping 10 hours and not actually resting and sleeping well. I was filled with anxiety, I was having nightmares, and I woke up more exhausted than when I was before I went to sleep. So it's not necessarily the hours of sleep, but the quality of sleep. Some things you can do to improve your sleep quality is unwind two hours before your bedtime. Put your phone away, put the screens away, read a book, get back to the wholesome, nurturing life. That is where you'll have your best rest. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Women's Health. And if you need more wellness tools, feel free to follow me on Instagram, at FitWithCambry or www.fitwithcambry.com for more tools, products, and daily motivation.